Hey, can we get some W's in the chat? Oh my goodness. The patch notes were just released, hot off the press. And boy, was I waiting for this one. Why, you might ask? Because we finally get to learn more about Bound Solo Mode Raid Gold. And boy, did AGS deliver. Let's go through this Calm Before the Storm patch notes together, shall we? Heroes of Arkesia. Yes, that's me. That's you. So let's pay attention here. This is releasing tomorrow, August 14th, and will last for six hours. No problem for me. I'm going to be sleeping, sir. Let's scroll down to the first thing here is Indigo Island. So, okay, nice, wonderful. We get some more Makoko seeds and the souls, achievements. But I, the one thing interesting I see here is that you can potentially get potent elixirs, which are cutting elixirs using silver and not gold. So that's probably the best thing here. But let's move on to what we really are here for. The bound gold system. So now we have bound gold introduced, which is to combat the many bots plaguing our servers, but also for new players and returning players to focus on developing their characters from within. Such as honing, quality upgrade, um, elixirs, transcendence, the works. You can do basically everything but use the auction house. That is what I'm understanding here. All right, to the spicy part, gold rebalance for solo mode. Let's be honest, the solo mode gold was horrible. Nobody is going to realistically be able to do all their raids and actually be able to afford to catch up at a decent pace. And Smilegate and AGS knew that. So now, looking at this, oh my goodness. Let's take it all in in its glory together. Hallelujah, 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 lay. I mean, already off the bat, if we look at the last ones, like Voldis, Gate 2 and Gate 3 have doubled from before. Now, I created this quick chart. I can open it right here. Ta-da! To actually visualize the differences between what you would get if you're rating normally, right, normal and hard, versus solo mode. And it's clear that solo mode gold has caught up a lot to normal. With these numbers, I may even do some normal raids on my alts, you know, during my weeklies, whenever I don't feel like using Party Finder. So this is a massive win. Okay, moving on to a new Chaos Dungeon system called the Purification System down here it appears to me like you are just you know naturally running your chaos dungeons and you'll be earning purification points that you can buy extra loot with like honing materials it also looks like you can get uh up to 300 maximum points which are six chaos dungeons so for the people who don't really run chaos dungeons daily you only got to do six this is another huge win for addressing burnout but I really want to see what the rewards look like. So let's wait on that. Okay, there's also for Ebony Cube some adjustments on reducing the enemy's HP, which will make runs so much faster. Amazing. Going down to events. It so looks like uh, there is going to be another kind of event attached to this purification system. So for about a month and some change, uh, we get bonus rewards at 100, 200, and 300 purification points. Meaning, if you complete two Chaos Dungeons, you get the first box, uh, four Chaos Dungeons for the second box, and six Chaos Dungeons for the third box. Uh, and it looks like, you know, these are all extra mats that we all need for the Tier 4 boost. So I welcome it. And I especially, especially welcome the Fusion Materials. These are the biggest bottleneck for most players. So this is insane. I really hope it's not a pitiful amount, though. I'm talking about we need thousands. Please, thousands. Other than that, um, it looks like the Maharaka Festival continues. Uh, a new monthly fever time event is added. And new daily login rewards. 
you know, they got to incentivize us to all come back every single day. So I understand. Very, very nice. Skins. Let's look at these. What the heck am I looking at? Oh, oh, okay. These look ugly and I don't want to look at them. So if you are interested in these sets, I'll put the link in the description for you to take a look at them. I'm just going to move on. Other than that, looks like just some miscellaneous things like character names being opened up uh, from people who were AFK for over a year uh, and some raid QL changes. So great. Awesome. Always welcome those. So overall, a W patch. Obviously, we're going to need to see some actual numbers on the rewards they give, but at least for solo mode, this is huge for new and returning players, and I cannot wait to continue my Proto Noob series, uh, where you know I simulate the new player experience, experience by nerfing my character and trying these raids out. Anyway, that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.